Protenuator. All right. I just went through some things, thought I knew what I was doing, deleted a bunch of things that I wanted to keep, just trying to get this little bit of drums erased. So here we are. Hopefully this helps you save time and work efficiently in a ranger. So normally we work in matrix and launch and we create our tracks in here. This is a lot of fun. We can play around by launching the whole line and we can trigger certain tracks to be uh, playing if we want and, and mess around with that. So this is my Alvin Luthier track. Uh, rest in peace, good sir. Your experiments made our world better. Um, what I've written here is a half, half beat with not a 4-4 kick and then a 4-4 kick right here. So if we go clip and arranger, you can see that it somehow triggered. So I didn't launch down here. It triggered my arrangement, which usually it doesn't do unless you go back to arrange. So now we're back to arrange. There's no drums here. Um, this back to arrange is important when you're in this. If you're in, uh, if we stop this, go to matrix, we can trigger our launches and stuff. But to get there again, clip and then arrange. Clip launches here, toggle it at the top tab. So back to what I was trying to do. I want to delete this little bit of drum that went over the 33 bar. And to do so, uh, we go to edit and delete bars will delete all the bars in every single track what we want to do is erase so if i click erase i can choose the track that i want to delete from in this case it's the house kit the drums and i want to go from bar 33 and all the way to the end is fine here but i can dial it down here if i wanted so we're going to say all not just the automation. This is an efficient place to just erase the automation. And you can see parameters there if they exist. So back to all, and we're gonna say do it. Now you see that this first track, there's nothing beyond 33. Now, if I want to record here, and I did holding record to arrangement, that's a two finger operation, uh, two armed. Now, it's going to record into the arrangement. I've got the uh, first track record enabled. So that's the record arm button and then hit the button below number one, which is quantize and other functions. And I will do so unless I hit loop from point number one. It will always start at point number one unless you hit loop and declare a loop. How do we do that? We go into timing. So drag down from the top and you can double tap on the time and then tell it that you want to go there by dialing back to 33 to sit there if you wanted to play, for instance. Uh, but you can declare your loops start and end. Now, this isn't going to end at the first beat of the next measure. It's going to end at the end of that loop, of that uh, bar. So bar 67 will go to the end of it. And uh, so that's our recording area. So if I wanted to go there to play, I can create these locators. I've described this in another video, but you can create your start point of 33. Let's say you want to be there. And you'll see the white bar at 33. So again, the most important part though, is that we've created a loop start and finish point that we're going to record within. So let's look back here and take up the top menu. Oh, I'm sorry, 67 sounded funny, <laughs> thinking and uh, not doing so. 64 is where I wanted to be, and it'll be the loop end, not 65. It doesn't end at the beginning there. It ends at the end of 64. So we'll declare that and back up. If you try to dial this with your finger, it's always imprecise. So use the drop down menu and the timing. Now, uh, I want to record the 4-4 beat I've done the one four beat, or the, the one kick drum over here for the start. We're gonna lay down the fours there. So I've got record enabled and I'm doing two arrangement within the loop and the MIDI record erase is on replace because it's toggled. 
So if it loops back through, it will replace anything, which it's just gonna replace it with itself. I'll toggle that now, it kicks in, and there's the 4-4. Four, four. This is our album Luthier. He had taken a recording of himself, where he says, I'm sitting in a room different than you are now. And when he died, I took his inspiration and I recorded the, the art. that he was sitting in a room different than I am now. This is the original recording down here, unlooped. And this one that's playing right now. He was sitting in a room different than I am now. Was the first time played back through the room he to the microphone. In a room different than I am now. So it goes back to the loop right there. Now I've got that laid in. Um, I want to keep things pretty basic. And I could cut out maybe the end there so that there's like a drop before the beat um, of 65. If I wanted to do that, I could go edit, erase, and we'll go. Damn it, inconsistent. 63 uh, to 65. Do it. So now it's got a little dropout. Now I can copy from 33 to 64 and paste it over there to do the same thing and have a little fun with automations later. So copy bars. Uh, there I'm afraid it's gonna copy all the bars and I don't want that. Okay, so If I don't want that, I can keep my loop and go from 65 to 97. And timing, loop, 65, 97. And I did the math wrong because I'm thinking about the video. So we'll go back to 96, close. It didn't change the start. 65, do it. Maybe it was because the end point was before the start point. So close, look at it, there it is. So now I can, with record enabled, still on the first track, hold record to arrangement, trigger the 4-4 beat. That's Satan speaking to you. So I've reversed it. Stop, it'll be back to the beginning of the loop. And then we can edit to erase from 96 to 97. Or 95. Awesome. Now uh, I've done some work, I want to save it. Save the project. I think that covers it. We're going to do some more work in the arranger, and uh, hopefully this allows you to get through your workflows a little quicker, lay down what you want in the track so that you're not plugging live to do a recording out. You're doing all the things here, and then you can focus on automations when you do your final recordings. Get into that in one of the future videos. Thank you, Pretenuator. Oh.
Brotenuator, I don't do this in my videos. Drives me nuts. So check out this video next. This is the channel for Akai Force. And you can subscribe here. I'll figure out that button in a little bit. Thank you. Stay cool.